Hello everybody, this is the Hollywood Rabbi and I'm here to talk about this week's Torah portion. By the way, this week's Torah portion is called Paku Day and that was my Bar Mitzvah Torah portion. So this one has a lot of deep meaning for me. One theme from my Bar Mitzvah speech that will be with me through the rest of my life and that was the word Shutafim, which in English means partners. That we are all partners with God in making the world a better place. Well, the word pakude, this week's Torah portion, means accounting. And this Torah portion is basically the accountant's Torah portion. Why do I say that? Because it talks about all the materials that were collected to help to build the tabernacle in the desert. As we spoke about before, the high priest was Aaron and Betzalel was the chief architect and artist that helped really beautify the tabernacle. It talks a lot about all the things that people contributed all the way from the building materials to the jewels on the breastplate of the high priest and all the gold and accessories and all the things that really beautified it and made it a really aesthetically pleasing place to be. And even if you weren't in the tabernacle, you would be reminded of it because of the way the high priests dressed. The breastplate had 12 beautiful, precious gems, and each one represented the 12 tribes of Israel. Well, at one point, they had so many things that were being contributed that Moses needed to say, please stop sending things. You know, I mean, it was just too much. They couldn't keep up with it. They couldn't store all of it. People were so generous. And generosity and charity has always been the cornerstone of successful communities. Giving charity is something that is in our DNA, in our social upbringing, the importance of giving charity and helping others less fortunate and contributing to the whole. A few weeks ago, we talked about how people contributed gold earrings to the golden calf building that oracle. Um, Aaron thought that that would delay them. He thought that they wouldn't, you know, it would, would cause an argument in their family. They wouldn't contribute their precious gold from their earrings to melt it down to make a golden calf, but they did that too. The generosity was already ingrained in them, so the issue with that was making a bad choice. Oh, you have to have the wisdom to know which things that are important to contribute to. Are we contributing to a tabernacle? Or are we contributing to something that is counterproductive to our spiritual growth? Nonetheless, there's a story that was told that really brings home the point of how every single person's contribution is important. There was a couple that was gonna get married in Europe and they wanted to get married in the town square so everybody could be invited. But they asked one thing, that everybody bring a bottle of wine and pour it into this big barrel and then everybody would have wine to drink to celebrate, to toast the new happy couple. People felt, well, what I'll do instead of bringing a bottle of wine is I'll bring a bottle of water and I'll pour it in. And everybody had the same idea. Because they thought, it doesn't really matter what I pour in, it's all gonna mix together. And you know, on the day of the wedding, unfortunately, all they had in that barrel was water. So it shows that every single action we take in life is important. We are all significant and we're all connected. So we need to work together as partners to make the world a better place. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a Shabbat Shalom and a wonderful weekend. Many blessings to you and your family. Be safe and healthy. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, it'd be awesome if you'd like this video, hit the red subscribe button, and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any weekly videos I put.